Okay, guys. Let's comb through this hair. A couple of tangles in there. At least see that gray strand of hair? Did you guys see that? Comb through my hair. And let's get ready to try this halo twist. Comb my hair downward. And forgot to apply my edge control. So let's go back and do that quickly. I'm using the curls. Is it Blueberry Bliss? No. What is it? Uh, it's made by curls so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that with my edgy brush I love this it is my edge brush this is all I use for my edges as far as slicking them down I sometimes like to use gel but being that my hair is straight and I'm not quite ready to wash it yet I'm not gonna apply any gel because then it'll start to flake so just smooth my edges down quickly and You guys can see now where my hair is starting to grow back. A lot of my edges fell out with my postpartum shedding. And thank God they're starting to fill back in. Oops. And I've been applying some growth oil to them and just trying to be patient and delicate with them as they grow back. So now that I have my edges laid down nice now I combed all my hair forward I'm gonna clip the top part start from behind my right ear and go towards the back and just twisting along and right here is where you can see that this is not correct <laughs> it's just too loose and I was purposely doing it loose thinking that it would fluff up. Um, but that's really only possible when my hair is curly or when I just have a blowout. At this point it's just it's too straight to do that. You can see the part that was in the middle of my head. This is just a hot mess. But I'm rushing and I'm going to have to just kind of keep it moving. Do you see this? It's like a... Like a soggy pretzel or something weird. I don't know, but I don't have a choice but to rock it. So since it didn't turn out how I wanted it to, and I don't have time to... It didn't turn out how I wanted it to, clearly. And I don't have time to fix it. I gotta go. So I'm going to <laughs> lift it up a little bit and just kind of wrap the end around. Bobby pin it in place so it's secure and it doesn't have to be like super duper neat because it's going to all be covered for the most part. And then I'm going to just fluff up the braid just a little bit because I want it to be just a little bit bigger. Have my handy dandy hat. Oops. My hat. <laughs> Bam. Cute. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just fluffing them up to make them a little bit fuller. And this is what will get rocked for today. Cute. All right, let's try this one more time. I'm not gonna clip the hair up this time because I felt like it aided in the twist being loose. So again, starting in the same spot, the back of my hair, but this time I'm doing it much tighter and more towards the nape of my neck so that it's actually sitting in the right position. So I'm kind of just pulling my finger through, wrapping it around. Um, 
And this is the only way I know how to twist. Um, but you can see now in the back how smooth it is. There's hair sticking up all over the dang on place. So it's just a much neater twist. I'm still working on perfecting this style because I actually really like it. Um, I think it turns out a little bit better on curly hair than straight hair potentially. But you can see... See how much neater it is now.